Designing your workspace and studio is so much more than making things quick and efficient. We often add tech and gadgets to make the process of creating content that much easier. And hey, what's not to love about hitting a few buttons and being ready to film your content? The deeper I got into this project, I couldn't help but realize this one thing that all creators who shared their studio space had in common. And the more time that went on for my own project, well, I realized I was just like them. We handcraft our studios because it's simply another form of art to express ourselves. Just like our content, it's an outlet to express our unique style, our passions, our hobbies, our quirkiness, just anything that makes us, us. Making videos for you all truly is my creative outlet. Thanks for stopping by you guys. My name is Rusty. I wanna take you on a quick tour of my recently designed studio setup. I wanna share the things in here that make this space so convenient and enjoyable. I'll also be showing you some of the process and struggles it took me to achieve what I was going for. Before we get the ball rolling, I do wanna add that I will link everything down in the video description. That way, in case you guys like anything, you will conveniently have a link right at the bottom of this video for you. Also, nothing about this video is sponsored, no paid promotions, just me recommending stuff that I truly like and getting a little commission if you guys buy it through me so nothing i'm pushing here is sponsored by any means okay as mentioned in the thumbnail this is a half room studio tour so as you can see this is the full wall um, when you enter the room up to my desk that's the farthest anything comes out my wife plans on using this half of the space so i decided to keep everything on that half but yeah everything that is going on in here fits perfectly all in this half room. So we'll work our way from here to here, get this section out of the way. Nothing much going on over here. I just have a lounge chair with a laptop desk that I built, pull it out, and you have a little workstation, a little dining table, you wanna eat some food, hang out, take a break, come over here. I designed it so it actually tucks under the chair quite a bit. Um, just saves some of the room when you're not using it. And then the only other item in this space is the content creator special, the black toolbox for your gear. This was actually completely red. I bought it used and got it for a great deal and just spray painted it with textured spray paint and it came out beautiful. It honestly looks brand new. So we'll start with the base of everything the desk and then we'll kind of work our way around this way. But let's start with the actual desk itself. Before I was working on a fold out table, it was just not going to work. You would barely bump it, fart on it. It would just shift and wiggle. My computer would shake, my monitor would shake. Just not ideal for the amount of money and gear I had on top of that fold table. So we went with the Ikea setup two black Alex drawers, two tabletops from Ikea, and the legs are from Ikea as well. These are the adjustable ones. I've got three under there. First up on the desk is audio source. So we've got the Rodecaster Pro 2 with the Rode Pod mic. This is the XLR version, not the USB-C. And then we have the second gen Pod mic arm. So as you can see, I've got my XLR in the back and the other end of the XLR goes into the actual mic. But because I have future plans for a podcast and my wife and I plan to continue a podcast, I just went with all the XLR connections because with the Rodecaster Pro 2, you actually have four outlets for XLR cables, four headphone jacks, so you can sit with up to four people on this unit. If you wanted something similar to this just for talking head videos and you didn't need all those outlets, they make the Duo, which is pretty much the same thing, but it's just two outlets. So if I didn't plan on doing all the other stuff with this piece of equipment, I would have went with the Duo, but I just knew I had plans for podcasts. So I wanted to have 
these options rather than having to upgrade down the road. Next up we have the Amaran 200DS. That is my key light. Um, I've got it mounted up on the small rig desk arm. So that just clamps as you can see and then extends as you like. The only issue I have with it, it does not go with that tall. I've got a wide angle lens so it looks bigger than it is, but it really doesn't go up that high. So that is my key light for all my talking head videos. I just turn it around, flip it down, point it at my face, and then I'm set up ready to roll for a video. So next up, next to my audio and key light, we've got my computer. Not gonna really dive into this thing. It is a unit. I love this thing to death. My brother actually built it for me, but we're gonna continue on with the rest of the things that make this studio my studio. So the tube lights that you see sitting on the desk are the Generate PX2s. They're the two foot options. These things are very, Affordable, I got them on sale for 130 a piece. Um, typically all two foot tube lights, like no matter the brand, hover around $200. So you can catch these things on B&H for 130 on sale sometimes. But in my opinion, they do everything that the big name brands can do. Full RGB, full adjustable Kelvin, different strobe modes, just any, all, all that fancy stuff that these tube lights do. The mouse and keyboard setup I'm rocking lately is the Keychron K2. This is the 75% keyboard. Um, it's got the aluminum body, so this structure is very solid. It's got very sturdy swappable keys. And then the Logitech MX Master 2S. Um, this mouse for editing is absolutely wonderful so you got the side scroll option go from left to right very fluid wheel you have the option of keeping it fully rotatable or having the stops in between i, I like keeping it on but yeah that's the setup i'm rocking and it is by far my favorite setup that i've had as far as mouse and keyboard goes as far as monitor goes i just have a very standard samsung monitor but the recent purchase is back here. You can see I've got an adjustable arm. With the way the wires are set up, I've got them kind of pinned tight to the back of the monitor, so I don't want to adjust it. But if I ever wanted to raise this, angle it left, angle it right, it's a possibility. As far as this area goes, you guys, that's pretty much it. I have the storage board up here. Got some little Joby tripods. I got the smaller version and the bigger version. I've got my headphones for the podcast setup. I've got different microphones up here. So this is the DJI wireless mic system that I'm using now. I got a Sony ECM-B10 in here. And then we have a Rode Lav mic just when I want a wired option rather than having that bulky DJI mic hanging off your shirt or hat you can throw the wire on. DJI Mini 3 Pro. Very awesome drone, very user friendly, um, great quality. You can film vertical, horizontal, you can do a lot with this drone. And then just little gadgets, side handle, top handle, USB-C cable. These are Ulanzi's little tripods. So sometimes I'll throw them on the lights if I want them to be higher. Um, you can use these for this light, it's just these little things are nifty to have. They're very affordable. And you can throw on a lot of your gadgets onto these mini tripods. Here's another area of the studio. So a lot of my original boxes. I got some hats, old monitor, camera bag. I uh, got my monitor, Atomos Ninja 5 right here. And then a lot of the bags and cases for my lights and stuff like that. Another pod arm down there. But yeah, just another space for storage. Before I got this set up, I didn't have much options for storage other than this area and it was just getting overcrowded. So that's why I added the toolbox and added the Alex drawers into the mix. And also this storage board, there's just more storage than I need for now, which is good. So I'm not running into the issue of having no storage. That's gonna wrap this studio tour up, you guys. I hope you found some motivation, some inspiration to upgrade or change your space around. But anyway, if you enjoy this style content, please consider subscribing to the page. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.